There are various causes to land degradation in Vietnam. That's want to highlight three of them here. The first one is the unsustainable land use practices that includes conversion of forest into other land uses or monoculture of crops, both in the upland regions and in the delta, without any proper conserv conservative measures. The second reason is the pollution from industrial zones, from urbanization, and also from agriculture. Untreated wastewater or solid waste from industrial zones and residential areas and excessive use of chemicals in agricultural production have been leading to degradation of ecosystem services and functions in the surrounding land area. Thirdly, the natural disasters are making the problem worse. Uh, example of uh, natural disasters are solid intrusion in the coastal light like the south, uh, flash flood and landslide in the mountain areas, or drought all over the country. We have taken context-specific approach to address the land degradation problem while improving the local livelihoods. Our focus so far has been the sloping land in the northwest region of Vietnam, where decays of monoculture of food crops on the steep slopes have led to widespread land degradation, low and unstable income, and conflicts with preservation of the whole ecosystem in the region. Our work started with piloting different agroforestry options at plot level to identify the options that can help improve local livelihoods while addressing soil loss and erosion. Based on the pilot, we have come up with seven best bet agroforestry options that suit local conditions. After that, example and landscape of agroforestry were established to demonstrate the economic and environmental benefits of the options. Assisted natural regeneration and tree planting have also been adopted to restore natural forest area. Forest rehabilitation research sites with native species have been established to demonstrate the economic and environmental benefits. The newly established agroforestry system have, been, have demonstrated their ability to mitigate land degradation through reducing the loss of topsoil in the upland. Furthermore, grass strips from agroforestry system also form natural terraces which have substantially increased productivity and enhanced water use efficiency when combined with other agricultural techniques. We believe our approaches are applicable at scale. Based on our pilots in the Northwest, we have done suitability analysis to understand where and to what extent our approaches can be applied. Our estimate is that the area suitable for agroforestry intervention in Dien Bai, Sela, and Dien Bien provinces where ECRAP is working in the northwest region can be around 700,000 hectares, which is around one third of the total agricultural land in these three provinces. In collaboration with the National Agriculture Extension Center, we have developed training materials for extension workers and farmers to apply our approach in the upland region of the country. There are several lessons I would like to emphasize here. One is the engagement of local communities. Our scientific knowledge will not be able to show impacts on the ground if there is no support and participation of local actors. Land restoration is a long process and local communities must be incentivized by both long-term perspective and short-term income. Their immediate livelihood needs must be addressed in order for them to pursue long-term land restoration and conservation. Secondly, restoration work needs to be done in accordance with the local development goal to take advantage of state investment policy and commitment of the local government offices. Thirdly, Restoration of degraded landscape is a hard and expensive thing to do. Uh, we emphasize on preventing land degradation before it becomes too late. <laughs>